Hi everyone, this is Yunus. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I just want to show you how you can start a web server on an EC2 when the EC2 is actually booting up. Basically, we are going to use a script in user data of the EC2 to install Apache 2 web server and also to add an index.html file in the corresponding document root directory of the Apache 2 web server. So let us see how we do that. Let's start by launching an instance. Click on launch instance. Name you can say web server and choose Ubuntu because the script which I have prepared is based on Ubuntu that is why. So select the latest Ubuntu AMI that is fine. Come down. T2 micro is fine. Key pair not really required but you can choose a key pair. And network settings you just need the HTTP traffic to be allowed. So you can create a new one. Create a security group and then select SSH and HTTP. That is fine. Or if there is a security group existing, you can use that by selecting this one. But I am creating a new one. Then come down. Here in advanced details, you have to come down and go to user data. This is where you will actually include the script which will install Apache 2 and then create an index.html file and then move that index.html file into the document root of the Apache 2 web server. Okay, so I am copy pasting the script here. I will provide this code as part of the YouTube video description. So you will get it. In the first line, it is updating the APT repository with the latest versions of the software packages which it includes. Example, Apache 2 and there are many other packages which it includes. So it updates APT repository with the latest versions of all those softwares. Then you are installing Apache 2 in the next line. Then you are starting that service in the next line. Then you are creating an index.html. You can see this here and I have written as welcome to Unisys page etc. You can change it. And also I have given my YouTube uh, subscription link. You change that as well. Then as the last step, you have to just move this index.html which you just created. You have to move it into the document root slash for slash www slash html. That's it. And what will happen is when you are launching this EC2, this script will get executed. And when your server comes in service, you will be directly able to access this particular web page. Let us see. So the EC2 is coming in service. It will take a few minutes. So what I will do is I'll stop the video and I'll come back once it comes in service. Okay, now our web server has come to in service with two by two checks passed. So now I should be able to access the website. So what you can do is copy the public IPv4 address. Go here. Let me paste it. Enter. You can see the web page. Of course, maybe the color uh, is not the ideal, but, but uh, you can change the color. It says welcome to Unisys page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I can click on this and go to that particular link. Okay, so this was a very simple way of starting your web server using EC2 user data. And if you want to copy the user data, you can select this and go to actions and go to instance settings. And uh, you can see here edit user data, go there and uh, you can copy the user data. But please note that even if you edit this particular user data now, it will not get executed when you restart this EC2. User data gets executed only when the EC2 is coming up in service for the first time. So please keep that in mind. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Please come back for more videos and please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you. Bye.